what happened science was supposed to be this you know this project which goes against dogma in fact scientific revolution happened because it was a rebellion against dogma of the church dogma of authoritarian system right and so it was the quest to uh, discover something that we all have in common so therefore originally the project was to show us that we are all connected for instance what i just talked about about mathematics how come all these mathematical truths mean the same thing to everyone if we were all separate agents how could it possibly happen that we all share this knowledge which across time and space you see so but what happens today unfortunately is a really really uh, alarming process in my opinion i want to and i want to address that a lot of people don't have a chance to learn science and mathematics the way i did it's really a, it was i feel like i'm in a privileged position because of the really let's be honest atrocious state of our science and math education and so therefore people who would like to learn about science they have to rely on the popular books on on lectures and so on of specific scientists and they're not always up to the task because you cannot if you cannot find out on your own what tells you you're going to do so of course you're going to listen to experts and unfortunately these experts are not always um they are themselves they seem to be they seem to be caught up in the fallacies of 19th century uh, science is not really informed by modern science by the science of the 20th and 21st century and i would say the most important aspect of the modern of modern science and mathematics is the first person perspective is that the first person perspective now has is squarely in the middle in the center front and center of modern science you can see that in quantum mechanics where you cannot separate the observer and the observed you can see that in einstein's relativity theory where time and space are relative relative to whom to the observer you can see that in mathematics where it's more hidden but mathematics is based on axioms and who chooses axioms they were not given to us like the tablets to moses we human mathematicians we choose them so we are involved in the process that is the most important aspect of that i believe of modern science the other aspect is incompleteness the fact that whatever we know how, however we think much we know it is always incomplete there is always more and therefore we have to resist the temptation to say that we can explain everything with the knowledge that we have already acquired what a silly proposition if you think about it how come 200 years ago we say oh this people were most people even including scientists were religious so they said god created the universe and so on so now we laugh at some of us laugh at it and say okay well they obviously were misinformed but what gives us is this suspicious to you know to believe that somehow we are better than isaac newton or blaise pascal that somehow we are exactly at this sweet spot where we have acquired just enough knowledge to understand everything it's a <laughs> and therefore and therefore we have to resist those people who come to us in in the name of science which in my opinion is pseudoscience really not is contradicts to science come and say you are this and the world is like that we already know it and that's what modern science tells us it, i am here i'm here to debunk <laughs> to debunk those theories 